Hey guys, welcome back for our writing lesson for today. Um, yesterday we took a look at the book that Laura Stringer illustrated and it was Red Rubber Boot Day, if you remember. I want us to um, do the same thing with our stories of zooming in, um, looking at things with a different perspective. So I have this picture up just so that you can be reminded of yesterday's lesson and how she zoomed in just on their feet. And it makes us feel like we're really there and seeing these red rubber boots and these feet in the grass and the rain coming down with the puddle and adding all those details. So I'm going to do the same thing to my story from last week. If you remember... I started telling you about my dog, Noah, that I used to have and how Noah really liked to chew everything up. So my story so far says my dog, Noah, liked to chew on furniture. Noah chewed on Huxley stuffed animals and fluff would go everywhere. Noah loved to chew on the TV stand. So what I'm going to do, I really like this page of Noah chewing on Huxley stuffed animals and fluff would go everywhere. I'm thinking I could use this page to zoom in and talk about the stuffed animals with fluff everywhere. So I'm going to look at it from a different perspective. I'm going to look at it from Noah's perspective of her looking down at the stuffed animal all chewed up. So I have a new sheet of paper here that I'm going to work on. And you can also use a new sheet of paper to help you with your new zooming in and focusing on a different perspective of writing and a new point of view. So I'm going to draw, like I said, the stuffed animal from Noah's perspective. So here, I'm going to add some details here to my teddy bear. That Noah chewed up. Okay, so there's its face. Here's one of its arms. And then the side is all bitten in. And then we have another leg over here. This arm I'm going to kind of draw chewed up too. And I'll put some little round things on the teddy bear, make it a little more detailed, and add in some of that fluff. So the fluff kind of looks like cloud cotton balls. So I'm going to draw those everywhere. Okay, so now that I've drawn these details, I can go back and color it later. Um, to give it even more detail so you can picture it even more. But looking at this, do you feel like kind of closer zoomed in and that you're getting to see it even better as a reader? I want you to think about that with your writing too. Okay, so now I'm going to write I capital I, beginning of my sentence space, looked. I know look is a sight word, L-O-O-K, and then the t sound at the end is E-D. I looked, space, down, oh, that's a sight word too, down, D-O-W-N, and that's a sight word, A-N-D, space, Huxley's This is an easy word for me to spell because it's my daughter's name and It's something that belongs to Huxley. So I have to put an apostrophe s and I also have to capitalize her name 
Okay, I look down and Huxley's, I'm going to give more details this time, teddy bear. Last time I just said stuffed animal, but this time I'm going to say teddy bear. Ed, E, teddy, bear, Look down in Huxley's teddy bear was, was this a sight word? W A S. Destroyed. 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 Oi, oi, I hear oi. So I know oi is O I or O I destroyed. Remember, we can always go back and fix spelling later, right? And have our parents help us with that. Or whenever you submit your writing to your teacher, they can um, comment back and tell you what needs to be fixed and you can go back and fix it, okay? So I know I might have some spelling errors here, but when I turn it into my teacher, she'll help me um, figure out what I need to fix. All right, so remember those capital letters. Remember those period spaces. Um, between your words and I want you to try it out now what is it that you could do that was like Laura Stringer you might like to draw from a different point of view like how Mrs. Tanner just did um, and try it out okay does it have to be for perfect the first time no all I want you to do is do your best share this um, with your teacher share it with your parents let them see what it is that you've come up with from a different point of view. I can't wait to see what you've done. I know it's going to be fabulous. All right, bye guys.